the Google chief, grilled by the House Judiciary Committee. Here's what he said about building that search engine for China. Roll tape. Right now, there are no plans for us to uh, launch a search product in China. Uh, we are, in general, always looking to see how best it's part of our core mission and our principles to try hard to provide users with information. We, we always have evidence based on every country we have operated in. Us reaching out and giving users to more information has a very positive impact, and, and we feel that calling. But right now, there are no plans to launch in China. We have are developed they, and explored wrong? what search could look like if it, if it were to be launched in a country like China. Okay, right now, no plans to launch that search engine in China. Keith Rothfuss is with us. He was on the committee. You're a Republican. How do you interpret uh, Mr. Pinchai's kind of uh, Mr. Pinchai's uh, passing of words there? Well, I would interpret it, Stuart, as as of yesterday, there were no plans to release a search engine in China. Who knows if those what those plans might be today? I think we have to continue to be vigilant in in these kinds of deals with China. Uh, we're coming up next year in less than five months on the 30th anniversary of June 4, 1989. Some of us don't forget what happened that day when the students standing for freedom and democracy in Tiananmen Square were crushed. You can't even search for June 4, 1989, as I understand it, in China. Uh, they are trying to scrub that date from history. And so as we go forward and look at our relationships with China, we have to be very aware of the human rights abuses that have taken place over the years that continue to take place with religi religious minorities being persecuted, whether Christians, Muslims, Falun Gong. Uh, China needs well, to let its people be free. If you, given your druthers, if you had the power, would you tell Google, don't do it? I think Google has to really take a look at its own corporate code of conduct. Don't be evil. Uh, do the right thing. And, and is it the right thing to, to really cooperate with a totalitarian government like you have in China that crushes human rights? And I think if you appeal to conscience, uh, they would see the better of their ways, as they did in 2010 and decided to pull out of that market. Um, the Washington Post, there's a headline this morning. It says, Google needs regulation, but Republicans are too busy complaining about political bias. Your response? I, again, I think we had a hearing yesterday. It was great to have the CEO of Google come in. Uh, I think you have to take a look at what the tech giants are doing. But, hey, we have a free country, and Google's a great success story. Uh, they provide a lot of utility to, to the market. Um, I use it all the time to find information. Uh, but they do have a responsibility. With great power comes great responsibility. And so we will continue to, to look at Google and, and how it does its business. All right, Congressman Rothfuss, thanks for joining us, sir. I would notice the stock price pre-market, kind of Teflon, no effect from yesterday's hearings. The stock is up again this morning. Thank you, Congressman. Good stuff. Great to be with you. Uh,